So I am demonstrating how to pull a power steering pulley off the power steering pump. Now what you need is a pulley remover, alternator, power steering pump, pulley remover, like this, it's three pieces. Um, this goes onto the power steering pump with this, that goes around that onto the pulley. Now what you do is you take these two pieces like this and this is what slides over top after. So if you give me a second here I will put this together. Hold on I'm gonna put the actually I'll see if I can get the phone right here. Like that. Put it like that for now. And then I'm going to put this on. And what I do is and it looks like that. Now there's one side, you, you'll know the side that goes onto the pulley, it's a smaller side. Put the phone down again. that slide that goes like that so you could see how it goes on there slide that piece over like that slide it over top get it on there as tight as you can on there and then you turn this part finger tight I'm using a crescent wrench you hold that side and I'm just gonna rest it against that sometimes you have to hold it you're lucky or if you have the pump out you have to do it with two hands but in my case I'm doing it with uh, pump in the car so then I'm going to take another wrench and start to turn it I think it's clockwise and keep turning it till the pulley comes off this one I already loosened it's a it's pretty tough at first it's starting to get tougher you have to Oops. It gets pretty tough. You have to uh, reef on it pretty good. And for some reason, the wrench just keeps moving over. Get it on there. You could hear it cracking, cracking off. It's pretty tough. You might want to put in an extension if you can't do it. Keep turning it. Or you could put a ratchet on it. I'll pause the video and come back, put a ratchet on it. So as you can see, I got a ratchet on it now and I could get... Hold on, sorry. This is 
pretty tough to do when it's not sitting right there. I'm trying to hold the phone and do it at the same time. Or if you have an air ratchet or something that's faster, you could reef it off. I like to do it a little slower because so you don't wreck stuff. Now. And just like that. If you look there. It just slides off. And that's how you pull the pulley off of a power steering pump. And you put it on the same way in reverse, I believe. If this one can do it, actually no, I don't have one, but there is the same type of system you can get that will actually screw it in. If you look in there, there is, there should be threads in there. And what you do is you take a washer and a bolt. If you could find a bolt that'll fit in there and thread in there, you just uh, do it in reverse. And you remove this. Hold on a second, I'll pause the video and come back. Okay, so like I was saying, in reverse, to put it back on, to press it on, if you could find a bolt that will go in there. Now, most power steering pump pulley removers, newer ones, will have the bolt and washer that will push the pulley back on. But now what I've done, um, I've just found a bolt and a nice heavy washer that's bigger than this, and the bolt that'll go inside there and you just put it on there, screw it into the thread, and tighten it. Uh, I believe the same way, clockwise. You just turn it, you'll turn it clockwise with the bolt in there, and the washer, a nice fat washer, and then tighten it up. And then you gotta hold this while you're doing it to push it back on. Now, to hold it, you could either stick something through here to, to keep it from turning or hold it by hand if you're strong enough. I usually just stick a screwdriver in there and try not to wreck the pulley because some of the pulleys are plastic, some are steel. And then just slowly push it on. Try not to strip the nut Try not to strip anything. Uh, do it nice and slow. Um, don't hammer it on because these are pretty, this will pop right out the back if you try hammer it at all. And like I said, most power steering pump pulley removers will come with the, uh, with the extra piece to screw it back in. Like it'll look like this, similar to this or that's the setup you'll make, but with uh, a smaller thread that'll thread into the uh, power steering pump into there. Most of them have them, but uh, otherwise you'll have to press it on. And if you press it on, you gotta make sure you keep that pin from popping back. Most likely they'll be threaded and you could thread it in and push in the pulley.
but uh, if you need a video on that let me know about pushing it back on that's just how you remove it thanks for watching